all and we're being dorkular and maybe just maybe it will walk like a dork and talk like a dork and actually be a dork yes yes and so hey there's flasher dork and i'm grammy dork and we're the dorks <laughs> why, why how are you today miss mary hello I'm, how are you september, september and 16 of 20 and 17 oh <laughs> oh okay oh. let me make sure just a sec okay yeah i'm 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 playing with shit i'm pushing uh -oh. buttons be warned be forewarned folk and folk it folk and folk like. oh folk it <laughs> yeah we have coined yet another dirty word i love it the dark <laughs> table rocks <laughs> yeah it does okay yeah. let's see I just finally got around to sharing it over on Facebook, so I have no idea if anybody's... Oh, hi, Joe, again. Wow. Ooh. Joe just hey, keeps Joe. sending me all kind of stuff, and it's like, Joe, come on, dude. Do Joe love, you, Joe love you long time. Joe love you long time. Long time. Mm. Love okay. you long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Joe, but no thanks. You might not want Joe to love you a long time, but, you know, Joe, once you get started on something, it's... There's no stopping the guy. <laughs> Even okay. if you wanted to, you just might as well just give in. Well, you know, hand him the lotion and grab a towel and just wait until he's finished. Kind of like a banker, only different. Ew. Yeah, I know. Ew. I thought I'd give you a visual of what was going on in my mind. In my mind? Oi, hmm. okay. I don't see anybody playing over here on the corner pocket. This morning, huh? Oh, really? hey, you, oh yeah, because sock has been down for a bit. Yes, he was a victim of a big blowjob in the Southland, and he's now on the road to recovery, well, regaining least... his electrical powers. There you go. Well, you know, at least he got it from a female. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next time they'll name it Jerry. <laughs> yeah, well, then what are you gonna do? <laughs> Jerry wasn't half as good as Irma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boy, well. When Irma finds out, you'll never hear the end of that. Oh, God, no. She'll take your house and everything. Um, over here on this effing site, I'm here, and so is Grim, and I see the lovely Tessa oh, is over here, Tessa. as well as Har Igbiwebike Me. Mijido. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, help. <laughs> wow. if, if I just give you an unconditional surrender at this point, will you let me live? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Certainly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, holy crap. That's funny. Oh, that's too funny. I got to share this one. Holy oh, shit. Hey, you're not I just, even going to say hi to the RLM Hardcore 12. That yes, we, I that am. Yes, I am. But I got to. For our informative news program and okay. all of our opinions about the shit that fucking matters. Come on. I got to share this one because it's just too freaking funny. <laughs> it's like, oh, Go my ahead. Lord. I got to put it over here in the. There. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's just uh -uh. that's a funny pick. Man, I don't care that who was you are. Squirrel squared, baby. I don't know what happened to you. That was worse than a duck. One of those duck things. I know, because when I go we all lost. duckular, it's like what? We, yeah, we just completely lost contact with you for about thirty seconds. You weren't <laughs> there. Take the fucking plugs out of your ears and listen to me once in a while, Mary. <laughs> it's not so painful. A ask hands. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Over here in the RLM, which is where you need to be. Um, oust? Oust? Who is the oust? Okay. Time to get something done. Must contact our glorious leader on the mothership. <laughs> Bye, Hansel. Oh, yeah. Hansel oh, just yeah. left. Oh, he did. well. Is he boycotting me again? Because I, I know he loves you. You know how I know? How? Because you would never ask him to buy you anything. I that's don't. how he gauges. Yeah, that's how he gauges people. Oh, if you need him, he's not your friend. He has to need you. Oh, he needs me. Does he uh, need me? Ill. I. Ill. Yeah, it's all that spiffy advice you give him on his, uh, you know, things. Ill. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, if it wasn't for you, Hans would be down to like you and Vinny to give him compliments. Oh, oh. He'd be down to just Vinny, but no, nah, he's got you. Uh, well, see, I really enjoy seeing what he puts out there because, man, <laughs> I learn a lot. <laughs> oh, Hansel? Yeah. Oh, Christ. I think it's just cannon fodder for my toilet, but you, you, enjoy, you enjoy the illusion there, little missy. No, I really enjoy it because it's like, wow, see, now now I know where not to go. Oh, that's a horrible thing to say about my altar ego. Well, I mean, he goes there, so why do I need to? Yeah, no, it's so fun to watch the the uh, plumber do the fix and than it is to do it yourself. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, you know, that way pee? you can go up and say, you need a pencil? Here, I'll just put it in your plumber's crack. Uh, oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's so, a pencil hi, holder. RLM. Okay. Hi, RLM. Oh. I see Barman right up top, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. And Grimner. Grimner. Ooh, Grimnerdo, who is the Grimner Tessa, God. Tessa calls him Grimmy. I Ooh. know. She calls him Grimmy, too. Yay, Tessa. I also see the lovely Kate, but you know what? I don't see Moose Girl. I wonder if she had entirely too much fun at the casino last night with her friend. Ooh, Ooh. too much fun at the casino. Yeah, well. No, you know. that couldn't happen. Moose is too good of a girl for that. Moose <laughs> never has too much fun. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I also see Asmodeus Asmo is here, as well as the lovely Beth Z. Uh, B Beth Z. Beth Z. And BTC Bob is here. And Chalcedony. BTC Bob is here, too. And uh -huh. Chalcedony. Oh, uh -huh. my goodness. And a double dip and a Chloe. Chloe, Chloe. Yeah, see, just an echo. Yoo-hoo. Um, just an echo of your <laughs> echo. Oh, hey. Well, well, we are in an echo chamber, so, you know, what the hell. Uh, Flash Nasty <laughs> is here. I think that is my, my cohort yeah. in crime uh, in the door killer world. Uh, I'm here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, hey, what's that? Gri Mary. Oh, Grimmy is playing along. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, I be Don C is here. Hi, Don. How's the pubbies? I also see Java, 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 Java Doctor 2 is in the house. I just happened to have me some Java, and I have some French vanilla coffee. I haven't tried that before, but I, it was given to me, and it's like, oh, this is not too bad. Mm. Oh, it was a gift, eh? Yes. Mm. I wonder what I'm going to do after consuming it. Am I going to get all lovey-vol and French and all the don the don You know, talk like I, I got marbles not. in my mouth. Wow, if you do, this show's going to be over real quick. <laughs> you I think, also you think huh? you think Hank Frank's you think Hank Frank's you out. Can you imagine me if you started talking like some French, you know, bluesy? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can't even explain that to my wife. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I also see JJ's is in the house. Hey, JJ's. JJ's. He's been sharing some cool stuff. I think he's at some kind of concert thingy this weekend. Not a concert thingy. Yeah. Yeah. Lord. I saw some stuff on Twitter, and it's like, oh, cool. That looks like fun. Um, Juan the Taco. Hmm? Juan a Taco. Yeah. My mm. brother likes that name for some reason. It is a fun name. You want a taco? He I, you know what? I like Ben, uh, what was that one? Ben something. Now oh, I can't even remember it. Ben Wah? But it, no, the one that makes me laugh. Um, oh, Nenson Dubois. Ooh, isn't that Ben something? Oh, Ben something? I don't ben know. Chicken. <laughs> chicken. Oh, oh, Ben it's Chicken. Ben, ben, okay, uh, that. yeah, that one. Okay. Okay, that's enough of trivia. Now yes. we'll go on to... Rain! I see rain. I thought we were going to have rain today, but the clouds have moved away. Darn it. And RLM Fluke, the Vanna White of the RLM channel is here, as well as Rob Works, and I saw him fire up that bubbler earlier. Thank you, Rob. I think Flash has been partaking of that bubbler, Rob Works. Just saying. Uh, oh, no, Flash, Flash would never do it. A, a thing, an illegal act. Uh, what What are you saying? Oh, uh, no. 
<laughs> my, my buddy Flash would never break the law in any way. <laughs> he, he might bruise it a little bit, might contort it some, but, you know, make it go it's all never, gumby, but never break if, it. If, yeah, if I could break it, I'd make it go away when I was finished breaking it. Well, yeah, because so then you just throw it away in the trash. Yeah, apparently I ain't breaking anything, so it's all an illusion to me. Damn. Be, uh, Tip like, Bob is here, the other half of the Bob twins. The Bob twins. Ooh. Yeah. We're up and Bob. that trust number one, or uh, no one. Uh, hey, number one. Number one. Trust. Make it so, number one. Hey, we just have the 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 standby the the old the original the the not the new and improved because that new and improved don't mean doodly shit we got the original phantom in the chat and we got oh. a double dose in the alan b we got alan b and alan b underscore alan oh. what you what you be underscoring hey, hey alan what's up i don't want to know what alan b underscore and that could be kinky no it, actually it, it's a glitch in the rlm um thing that you need to open rlm with oh a glitch in the matrix yeah i guess he says that it opens up two names for lynn and that's why they were getting bumped back because she was closing it instead of just leaving it be and it was all this g coming and going about ah. just leave it so i told him just leave them both open who cares just up Grimm's ratings a little bit they go i i don't think that'll matter any yeah beat off <laughs> He had, yeah. Beetle! Beetle. I don't know how to make a sound like a beetle, but I'm going to think of one. Beetle. Beetle, beetle, beetle. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just when I think, wow, can you do that? That munchkin voice? Uh huh. That I, I envy that munchkin voice. I can do many voices, the munchkin. Not even close. You can't do the munchkin voice? We got Emma. No. <laughs> yeah, but you're not even holding your nose. I'd have to hold my nose, stand on my elbows, <laughs> rub things against the table leg. No, it's too much work. I'll pass. <laughs> well, Dimma is here as well as Dorky Lynn. Come on, Dorky Lynn. Hey, Lynn, how's things? Yes. We got I'm Dorky asked. Vince, too. Ask Jeeves to bring the car. I want I want her to go for a ride. Hmm. Do you have some Chianti to go with that fava beans? <laughs> <laughs> dab dab dabity dab dab dab. Oh, Tessa's dab dab da dab 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 da dab dee dee dab 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 dabbin. You go, it, Tessa. <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told to. Isn't that right, precious? <laughs> Hey, Dorky does. Vance. Look at it. It's putting the lotion on the skin. Ah, I also see Frumpy is here. Frumpy! Hello, Frumpy! And Jehovah One as well. And looky there, Kozu. Oh. And no kazoo for the Kozu yet, you big no, kazoo I'm promiser. Here. I'm going to go wow. see my mom today. As soon as, I, as, soon as we get I'm done. Losing, here. losing my patience waiting. And I'm I'm, you, I'm going Lizzie. to I'm going to go to Walmart, you know <laughs> that place. And yeah, I'm yeah. going to go to Walmart, and I'm going to go to the toy section, and I'm going to find me a kazoo because I can't find my kazoo. Hey, so will you do me a favor at Walmart? What's that? If you see anybody that looks like a space alien, like they post on the internet for giggles. Oh, the people of Walmart. Oh yeah, take a picture for Cirque so she can see your native habitat oh okay <laughs> and it could cirque cirque loves walmart well i've sent i sent her a lot of pictures from that um thresher oh yeah thingy she, she loves to, yeah she likes to see how you live out there because so different than the way we live here so much bigger and grander and there's you know, more of it <laughs> yeah there's more of it whatever it is there is more of it um, uh, uh, Nenson Dubois uh, is uh, here. Uh, Nenson uh, Dubois. Uh, that sounds Dubois. very prim and proper, doesn't it? Poxified is right story. behind him. Poxified sounds. Poxified. I'm, I'm just mm. poxified. Nenson. I don't know what it means, but I sure as hell wouldn't want to get any. <laughs> I, well, you don't want to get any on you. That's for darn sure. Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, get put it poxified. in a basket. <laughs> Next thing you know. 
You're strung out on a street corner trying to score a cup of coffee. It's a horrible life. Oh, <laughs> man, it is. I also and see sock puppets logged in. Sock! Hey. It's so plug, good plug, to... Plug, s- plug, plug. Now, see, I, now I was wondering, or I have been wondering, how's Free and Slave doing? Is he logged in? Heard. I haven't noticed, though. I, I haven't been on today much. Because he's down in that Florida as well. Yes. And so Yeah, we have a, a few of the Dork Table participants. Hail from... And I renamed your state. Florida. Oh, you did? I, wrote, added, I added a U to it for fluoride. Oh, there you go. F-L-U-O-R-I-D-U-H. Florida. <laughs> Florida. All right. Yeah, and you right. know what? To round out the crew, the one, the only, what? the Tessa, who See? put her lotion in the basket hey. because she was already done doing the dab, dab, dabity, dab, dab. Tessa. Yeah, Tessa from the old WT days of long ago. Yes, it's so Back. wonderful to see her here. Yeah, I've seen her on the um, F and site, but I don't use it very much because it has uh, a little bit. It's like not uh, operator friendly for me. I'm not good with computer programs, so I try to stick with the easier stuff for my remedial talents. See, and for me, at work especially, I have trouble with it. So I just... Yeah. yeah. Well, that, to each his own, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know... <laughs> yep. Ay, 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 ay. So, so, for shits and giggles, Miss Mary. All of it. All of it. I have spoken. Okay. <laughs> whatever. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. I got whatever on my own dork table. Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, yeah. would it be better if I went, Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not yes, one of our dear. not one of the hardcore twelve that tune in to hear it. I'm 12? one of the hardcore two that tunes in to say it. <laughs> no, I I think we got the hardcore thirteen because we got we got one of them oddball dozens. Oh yeah. 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 I have no idea right. how many listen, and it's like, oh, you guys, bless your hearts. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's the the point I make. I get teased because uh, of a by a certain character on the RLM about a small listenership, and I don't do this for a listenership. I do this to talk to you. Well, and it's fun. And then read the chat from people I don't see every once in a while, like Tess. I haven't yeah. seen Tess in a while. Yes, Tessa, hey, Cowboy like is that. awesome. Hey, Dorky Lynn says hey and stuff. Hey and stuff. Dork, dorky fans, oy. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, I, I like to do this because I get a sick giggle out of it for some strange reason. Yes. I cannot be sure. You know, Vinny we, says that I'm flashing. He says Gramsci f- flashes. Which well, I do have hot your, flashes occasionally. No, maybe he tapped into your Skype and he's looking down your shirt right now. Vinny, he's got one of those cameras that, that you know hovers. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh. I got I got a giggle for you. I play online poker. Uh huh. And when I was in America, I used a different site. I can't remember the name of it, but I'd been there for a while and knew people. Yeah. And I would make, you know, I'd sit at a certain table running a guy or girl, whatever I had been familiar with, and I'd make jokes about stuff. Uh huh. And the last joke I made was about, well, I got this new software that lets me see your hands. (laughs) I was lying. I was just bullshitting. Mm hmm. People were not pleased with that joke, Miss Mary. Oh, really? (laughs) We're we're online gambling, and I'm telling them, I'm looking at your cards on my new software I just bought. It was a joke. (laughs) One or two of them actually got mad and left the table. Hey, where you're looking at my cards? There's no way to do this. (laughs) And, and, okay, and just like with Hansel. I just say and do things that makes a person with that kind of mind just like what's squirm is the right word. They're not comfortable in their own skin in the first place. And I just like throw a chair at them. (laughs) Here, balance (laughs) this. Well, yeah, that whole throwing a chair at them has a tendency to make people duck. Oh, no, there's no duck in the chair. No, I never say duck. I just throw chairs at people. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't say you said duck. It just makes no them warning. duck. Oh, quack, quack, hey, quack, 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 quack. 
Speaking of ducks, mm-hmm. I'm coming back from, well, I went on a mission for Circle today. She's taking up the fine art of crocheting. Yay! Right? What does my baby do but ask me to go to the town and find things in foreign languages? And you know what I did? You went and found things in foreign languages. Absolutely. And they even have a yarn store that doesn't do anything but sewing and yarn, but of course it was closed. So I had to go to the other store that wants to be Walmart someday and buy theirs instead. Anyway, so I'm walking through town and I'm looking at the ducks. Uh Uh-huh. Right? The ducks are always on, you know, the RLM. Everybody's always going duck happy, shooting all the ducks and crap. Uh Uh-huh. And I was wondering if the calmness here doesn't have something to do with having live animals in the middle of town. And I'm watching, like... Uh, a mom and her kid, little six, seven-year-old boy or whatever, uh-huh. walk over with a big bag of bread they just got from the grocery store uh-huh. to go feed the wild birds that live in the middle of town. Oh. Right. And I've been watching this for years now, and it never occurred to me, you know, to discuss it in, in any, like it mattered. But you guys all shoot ducks, and I live a bunch among, amongst a bunch of people that the last thing they would ever do is go into town and shoot one of the ducks. Yeah. Yeah. They feed them, and they bring their kids, and it's, it's a, I don't know, I've never seen anything like it wherever I've lived before. It's new to me. Ah. Would so, you tell your well, lovely bride that I just sent her a link for a crochet pattern? Oh, yes, I will. Because if I didn't, you know what she'd do to me? <laughs> she would drop kick you. I'll go ahead and put now, it in the RLM chat as well. Cause yeah. ha- I, have you ever seen a potato after it's met a potato peeler? <laughs> 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 hey, sir, Barry sent you a link on Skype for crocheting, sweetie. Thank you. No, nah, she wouldn't do anything. I'm just joking around. I'm joking about because people think I'm pussy whipped because I married a foreign girl. That, you know. May or may not see English in the light that I speak it in. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Think about that. Hmm. Yeah. You know? She hears things the way she hears things, and I say them. Well, of course, everybody has that sort of problem with me is, what the fuck do you mean by what you just said has happened a lot? <laughs> ah. Oh, let me tell you, Miss Mary, I've heard a lot of people ask me that in my life. <laughs> oh, Yeah. Yeah. I know you're surprised. I am. Oh, I am yeah. shocked. Well, more than once. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, there you go. Because I'm the kind of guy that would walk up to a Catholic priest and ask him what they paid off those people to be quiet and in uh, America was all about. <laughs> ah. Ah. Well, if you're going to engage him in conversation, make it memorable. Yeah. That's true. What could they possibly know about God from reading a book, please? If you want to live, you don't find out by reading a book. You live by living. You brag by reading a book. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I've got this shit figured out now. I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm on the case. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it might be a mental case, but still case. It is still <laughs> a it's, case. It's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it. <laughs> don't well, don't beg. No, it's not for you. <laughs> I will let you keep your case. I'll bet you would. I'll be, it, see. You know, and, and w- when you look at people and the shit that they look up to, and the pieces of shit that represent success, it's it's nauseating, Miss Mary. It, it makes me want to wear a bib when I eat. Oh my. Wow, yeah. that's really bad. <clears throat> Some people are just really bad. Oh. Hey, oh, like, I well, see that Jose has become hurricane status again. Someone just posted oh, that. Tessa says, hi, Circaline. Hi, Tessa from Circaline. Sweet. Absolutely. Right, radio. Because we live in an electronic world of make-believe where... Everything is true, and everything is not true at the same exact time. I know. Isn't that something? 
Because if anything, this experience with radio and Vince and uh, all the characters I've met along the road, I've learned one thing that I can count on. And that is? Oh, this is the fucking internet. You idiots are all insane. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. What did you think I was going to say? I thought maybe it would be something very profound, but that that in (laughs) in its own way is very profound. So. Well, it was on. It was an honest thought. I don't know if it's true or not, but the more I read of people's opinions and what they call knowledge, the more I like my dog. Ah, well, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. Oh my God. It, wow, the cramming your opinion down somebody else's throat thing. You know, the deaf thing's got to have a definition and a purpose and a meaning. I got a life. I'm way too busy for all that intellectual shit. I've got a reality to deal with here, you know? And it's, n- it's not so bad to walk by somebody of the Muslim or the Catholic or the nigger or the spick, whatever they are. And just smile at them as you walk by. And I've found a place where doing that is just normal. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. A nasty uh, prick here would stick out like a piece of glass in a ham sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Well, it depends how big of a piece of glass you're talking, though. (laughs) Well, I'm using a, a, you know. I'm just uh, shifting words around to be a funny guy. You know what I mean? Ah, ah. Well, well, you know, because if you had like a really big piece of glass, it was kind of speared through it, then it was really stand out. But if it's just a little bitty sliver of glass, then it it would be an annoyance. I don't have the anonymity of a car in this life anymore. And it makes me aware of things that never concerned me in the past because it didn't deal with them. Ah, like being accountable because people are going to know you were here. Yeah. Behave yourself, so to speak. And not like I didn't where I'm from, but it's more um it's more in my face here. Ah. I'm... Yeah, well, I I see people out there now that recognize me cuz of my long hair and whatnot, but I don't recognize recognize them back yet because they've just seen me walking down the road or in a line at the store or something. Oh, well, yeah, you do kind of sort of stand out. There's nobody. I don't have a double doppelganger in in Freddie Town. Very unique. Mm, Yeah, and see, you're just like you are like a unique bunny, and people have to neek up on you. Neek up on. Yeah. (laughs) Ho 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 ho. (laughs) Hey, I'm practicing. My my very huh. tame jokes here because I'm going to be going to a birthday party for a two year old tomorrow. So, uh, um, hmm. I don't know, Miss Miss Mary, if you can act. Ooh, okay, take your yeah. chances. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's it'll be a challenge, but I think I can step up and and be on a level playing field for the two year old. Oh yeah, you think when you build your your uh, blanket fort that the kids are going to try to tie you up and set you on fire as a, a renegade Indian that's trying to infiltrate their camp. Oh God, don't give them any ideas. <laughs> oh. Now see this. I mean, when I was a kid, we just thought of that kind of shit all by ourselves. We didn't need coaching. Oh, no. Are you kidding? Oh weapons, Lord. You know, we'd make weapons out of, out of birthday cake. You know, it didn't matter. Oh yeah, I tell you what, my my uh, grandchildren taught me uh, new designs for blanket ooh, forts. So ah, uh, you're learning. Yes, but you know the, it helped that they had they had one of those play pit couches, mm-hmm. you know, with the doing the hey, corner thing take. and everything, and it was like, whoa, <laughs> dude, look at that blanket fort. That's freaking awesome. So, hey, do you have any friends that were involved in that uh, hurricane crap for the last couple of weeks that la- started in Texas and ended in wherever Tennessee or something? Um, I have I have a classmate and a couple other friends that are living down in Texas that uh, you know I've checked yeah. on and some cousins yeah. down there. What kind of report do you have for us people that out of tune with reality that don't know what's going on? Um. 
Well, they're just playing cleanup. You know, that's pretty much... Okay, so it's the same old, same old, typical after hurricane extravaganza. It's always been, always will be. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. You know, you know what was a brilliant plan from the fucking federal government? What's that? Well, to outlaw hemp, so you couldn't build anything out of anything that could ever last more than twenty fucking years. Well, yeah. This isn't America, dear. Please. Well, you know, you my, you my have to trying. you have to have, you know, the rotation of the the product. You have to mm-hmm. have planned obsolescence so that you can oh, right. keep the oh, system right. running. See, I got you. I finally you finally figured it out. Go ahead. Well, take off. And that's you know that's the way they do this shit. I know that. So, I don't I, know. Apparently, me and you are the only two. You, me, and you, and Sark and Grim. And it's some great big fucking secret, and everybody else thinks we're insane. Well, except Rob Works, and I don't know. Okay, see, and then you start finding more and more people that it's like, oh, wait a minute, they think that, oh, wait a minute, they think, oh, wait, oh, hell, you know, all the people that I know think that way. (laughs) Ah, but according to a select few, yeah, well, all wrong, and our delivery sucks as a whole. Well, but you know what? That select few, they are a few. And it's like that little sticker that you get in the palm of your hand when you've been out pulling weeds or or that no. little pebble that gets in your shoe. No. You know, it's it's just that one little irritant that keeps just irritating you. Oh, like a handsaw. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. see, he's your little irritant. And to me, it's, I, mm, huh? nah. Yeah. I know, and well, I see. I got married, so I, I can't really, you know, pay attention to the rotten girls anymore. My wife wouldn't like that, so I, ah. I figured I'd do the, the next best thing and <laughs> play with a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I know my mom's. Have you been playing with the Nazis again? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, mom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Would you stop it? My God. Well, it's like Rascal wow. when she gets to play Take with crickets around out. here. You know, yeah. my cat is such an evil uh, creature. Evil creature. Yes, she, she is. She she goes and, you know, crickets show up in the house or whatever, and, and she'll go uh-huh. and she starts uh-huh. batting it around on the linoleum, which is like, okay, wow. would you just plain kill it? And then she'll pull cool. off one of its back legs and watch it yeah. spin in circles, and it's like, okay, that's enough. I'm flushing Boy, that you thing down get the toilet. That far, and, but you got to let it go that far to say that's enough, you violent, crazy woman. Well, a lot of times I don't <laughs> see it until after she's already, and I'll see this cricket leg on my lin- linoleum floor, and it's like, what the hell? And then I'll see a cricket over by the fridge trying to make a break for it underneath the fridge, and it's only got uh, one back leg to do it with, and the cat's just sitting there going, hey, watch this. Bap! <laughs> It's like, wow. you're evil, cat. You are just evil. Hey, yeah, I be Don C. But this amuses you when you're calling the cat evil? Well, yeah. <laughs> wow. okay. The cat's just doing what cats do, but you're well, watching it. So Yeah, hmm. well, then I go and get a Kleenex, Who and I exactly pick up the cricket, is... and I flush it down the toilet. And that, yeah, uh, is that not evil? Okay. Uh, you bail her out, or you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, see, I wouldn't do that. What, you would let the cat finish playing? I'd let the cat eat it. I don't give a flying fuck about no cricket. Well, she doesn't eat them, though. She just beats them up and tears their legs <laughs> off and waits for them to die in the middle of the... Usually she does this in the middle uh, of the night. Like, okay, so she's like a voter. She just picks at it until there's nothing left to stand. Yeah, till it <laughs> stops moving and then she yeah, just leaves it there. It's, yeah, till it's completely fucking worthless and you can't do shit with it. That that's how far these voters will go. Oh, how yeah. many times? Yeah, didn't they elect Richard Nixon twice? I mean, hello. <laughs> the war on drugs mean anything to you, little Missy? Which reminds yeah. me, you would know this. Who in the heck did uh, Ronnie Reagan run against? Um, Jimmy Carter. Oh, because oh. Jimmy Carter had the had the the house. Well, he had the White House when uh, the Iranian hostage thing went on. Oh yeah. Which is how Reagan got, you know, that's how they, you know, presented the, they're appointing the great Reagan at the time because 
he wasn't going to have it, have any of that towel head shit going on. He was going to nuke them the first fucking day he was in office. So yeah. the month that the inauguration that the hostages got released. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause throughout the Carter, Carter wasn't a warmonger as much as the others before him. And although there were a few skirmishes, he didn't attack anybody in his four years like anybody before or after him did. Ah. His skirmishes were small, so he didn't leave much of a, you know, out, out, outside of being an, whoa, Hannibal, an American president, well, which kind of says everything, but he was the least violent, you know, fuck that was in that office through, through most of our history. Yeah, he just wanted to grow peanuts. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know what? See, I, I don't know. Well, peanuts, schmeanuts. I mean, he was in the fucking game as a billionaire fucking peanut farmer. Yeah. Connected to the fucking royals by blood, blah, 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 blah. It's all a big show. Yeah, it is. We're getting, look, we're getting our asses handed to us with a bunch of bullshit artists telling you, oh, these are the laws we passed. You don't know that. I want to see these fucking people sit in front of me and vote. If that's the way it really were, I want them to do everything they do on live camera so I can see it happen for myself. On C-SPAN. No, yeah, no secrets, no... Do you deal behind closed doors, you're out of the game. Not this shit we got. Well, oh, it's, uh, it's all for our, our privacy. What do they call it? Um, gut security. What, yeah, right? yeah. Fuck. Security's a scam, idiots. It ain't gonna ever gonna be there. You know? The only thing that you can count on happening is that you don't have a fucking clue to what's gonna happen. Unless you live in a boring, quiet place like me. <laughs> and then it's so easy because it's like nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> well, same thing that happened yesterday. What's that? Nothing. Cool. <laughs> Isn't life... Oh, you see how bad it is? I know, it's just traumatic as hell. But if I lived in like L.A. again, or New York, or San Francisco, or Miami, or London, or blah, 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 all the places I've been prior to this, I think my life would be uh, completely different. Yeah. Hey, Becky, I am joined. Hey, Becky, I am. Yay, wow. Becky. <laughs> we got Don, we got Cowboy. We got Tessa, we got Grimner, and Becky. Wow. I know. See, cause, yeah, this is more This is more like the, the world truth thing that we did once. You know, it's small, and everybody knows each other a little bit. And hey. some of us know each other from the past, and it's kind yeah. of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It is kind of all. I got all syrupy there, like a pancake, like a mental pancake. I know. Where is he at? Oh, and there's that whore Monica. Yeah, that was for the man, the pancake man from Burnt Waffles. Yay! Yeah, Burnt Waffles is my alter ego. I know. Yeah, Burnt will go where I dare not go. You know where that is, right? Oh, well, that's where my evil twin goes. <laughs> the kitchen? Your uh, evil twin goes to the kitchen, too? Uh-huh. Wow. Oh. When, when you go in, what do you do in the kitchen? I cook. Oh, my God. I look at stuff, and then I close my eyes and turn around and walk away. <laughs> That's usually the safest thing to do. Yeah, something about timing and fire has got me completely fucked up. I can't seem to match them together. Ah. I can do one at a time, but not both. <laughs> oh, Isn't that sad? You See, go, now wow. that's, that's kind of like me and... Um, when I'm barbecuing and making stuff inside, one of them's going to get burned. Barbecuing? Holy shit. Yeah. I wish I could barbecue. Oh, my life would be good, so good if I could barbecue. Yeah. I don't know. I can't barbecue either. I, I just don't care to cook. Let's put it like that. Let's be honest. I like to be honest with people. And you know what? You can take your cooking and you can put it where the sun don't shine. You just, you're just you just on the consuming end of that. Damn right, baby. <laughs> so, got a problem with that? No. I'll tell you when the choice is my cooking versus the cooking of the person that you know I'm facing, they always see things my way. Because my idea of cooking is not, it's not attractive. <laughs> ah. 
Uh, some guys won't even admit that that's the way they'll they'll be willing to eat to avoid cooking. <laughs> ah. Yeah. See. So. And God, in His infinite wisdom, Miss Mary, teamed me up with somebody that cooks. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Bonus Lucky round. Me. Otherwise, I'd be, you know, cans of beans and um, toast, I suppose. <laughs> you know, I know people that think beans and toast is is a treat. <laughs> a treat, yeah. They, what, what, they live in prison? <laughs> no. Well, my grandpa uh, used to do that all the time, but that, you know, depression era food. Oh. Uh, what do you, is, that's kind of like a physical version of shit on a shingle, beans on toast. Yeah. 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 I think my brother's going to. Um, entertain the the English with that. Oh, he's going to make SOS for him. That's what he was threatening to me with the other morning. That he was going to do that. Well, tell him to and be sure to uh, rinse the the meat hmm. before you get oh, some of right. that salty he's, off he's, of it. He's the cook, and you're going to tell me to tell him. Have you lost your mind? Yes, I wow. have. Actually, it's Did wandering you somewhere. Who you're talking? Did you forget who you're talking to here, little Missy? <laughs> okay, uh, anyway, how so. do you remember something when you've lost your mind? I don't think memory and mind are the same thing. Oh, oh, Frumpy was here and now Frumpy is gone. You know, I think, I'm sorry. Hey, Frumpy. Oh, uh, it was I Frumpy 3. I, I think there's different parts of our consciousness that we can't explain to other people. I think it's in like different areas. No? Well, yeah. You know, I wonder if maybe the Egyptians knew be way better. Well, I know they knew way better than us. But they didn't, you know, they didn't save the brains. They huh. saved the heart. Oh, they did. And the heart actually puts out a stronger electrical field than the brain does. Oh, uh, according to you. Uh, that's I seen it on the interweb, so it must be true. Oh. Uh, I, I like that that interwebs thing is being used, interwebs. <laughs> what a, uh, You know, it just shows how easily scammed we are. Well, yeah. Okay, and, and I'm going to make the point of saying it like this. We have all this ability. We're on instant communication across the fucking world with each other. And tra-la-la-la-la and wah-ba-ba-ba-ba. And you got TV monitors and video games and all this crap, right? Mm -hmm. But we're still burning oil because hemp is against the law. Well, because it, well, but why would <laughs> seriously oh, if we, we used here. if we used the free energy, yeah, that is around us all over the place? Why would we need to even use hemp? Uh, I mean, except for like million, building materials. There, well, you okay. <laughs> That's all you think hemp is good for, just building materials? No, no, but what I'm saying is we wouldn't yeah. even need to use it for a, a power source because, I mean, of course you can, we would. No, if you, if you have free energy going on, you don't need uh -huh. to, you know, if you're using the electromagnetic field or whatever, um, what is it? A, the Oh, the Akashic field is the ever after thing. But um, wow. if you use the electromagnetic fields yeah. and the energy that is around all of us and are able to mm -hmm. tap into that, you wouldn't need to use anything physical as a fuel mm -hmm. source. You would just use it for building things, you know, like clothes and, and houses and cars and shit like that. Like everything. Well, yeah, but you wouldn't need it for an energy source. Oh, boy, what... Okay, I, wow, you really got confusing with me here, dear. Okay. <laughs> you just, I, you wouldn't need it for an energy source. Need, wow, you, wow, you're projecting a long, long way into the future there, dear. Oh, I don't know that it's that far into the future. Uh, but, okay, uh, I got to I gotta read you this. Grimmy said that short-term memory is your RAM. Long-term memory is your hard drive. Your mind is the CPU. Well, my CPU sometimes is boinked. <laughs> your CPU is boinked? Yeah. Is yeah. that good or bad? Well, it depends on who's boinking it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh -huh. 
Okay, and Becky I.M. says, thought, the free energy Tesla keeps searching for is inside us all. We create the vortex. That, yes, Becky, I can, I can't argue with that one. Well, I wasn't trying to make an argument out of the damn thing in the first place. It was just. Uh, I yumped all over it and went somewhere well, far afield. Oh, I'm telling you, you, you went to the other side of the planet. Yeah, I, I did. I was talking about the legality of hemp and somehow you came up with replacing it as an energy source not needing it at wow it must be weird inside your head <laughs> actually it is there's an yeah, awful lot I'm, of cobwebs that kind of oh no move no, I'm around not calling, i'm not calling you dumb i'm calling you creative there's a difference well and see that's not saying that i'm dumb it's just saying that there's an awful lot of cobwebs in there that kind of go <laughs> with the breeze and every <laughs> once in a while two no. cobwebs from the opposite sides of the brain connect <laughs> And and it <laughs> takes me off on a whole other tangent. <laughs> uh, well, the way I see you and the way you see you are just different. See, and I just I I picture this root. Well, maybe not cobwebs, but you know that that filmy kind of uh, <laughs> gossamer material that you see in Gosh. the in the spooky movies. That when the wind blows, it goes. <laughs> and it just kind of flutters oh, yeah, all over the place the see that's what's movies. that's what's all over inside my brain and something comes uh, along uh, and it blows through and and two pieces uh, meet and it's like and it does that whole bride of frankenstein thing and <laughs> wow do you have any idea how much money it costs me to think like that <laughs> no what comes natural to you i have to strive for it somehow Ah. Yeah. You have to work for it and give it my all. <laughs> oh, see, I yeah, just you just uh, you just I, sit there and talk. Yeah. It's like, Wait a <laughs> I know. That's it, not that's not fair. That not very fail. <laughs> and isn't it true that you once held a public office? Yeah, I did. Now, now do you understand my root fear of people that hold public office? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it had my gossamer streams all knotted up. I just couldn't do that shit anymore. Well, let's just cut to the chase and say it like, you know, because uh, people that do that kind of shit, you know, they're just like us. And you're you're living proof of that theory, of course, because, you know, I yeah. said so. Oh. Well, damn. They're just like us. Amazing, huh? And we're a bunch of weirdos. So we got a bunch of weirdos. Pre, uh, representing liars to us as heroes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you know that whole thing with... It's not necessarily all people that, that strive for positions in the public are yeah. are weird. Because I do know some people that they got in there in order to try and change things. And then once they got in there... They yeah. realize that, wow, yeah. it's going to take a hell of a lot more than me to change this. And oh, I so reckon, I know that, Mary. I've heard, I've heard you mention this before. I'm not doubting it either. I'm just saying that it's not likely anymore. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, to get I, a, I think in it's the a lot big more game. Better. Yeah. Then you got to be a crook to get in that game in the first. Why would you want to be in there to, to do what for who except yourself? Well, come on. Yeah. Th there comes a point in time where you got to realize if you care about somebody, you should know their fucking name. Yes. How do you care about a person you don't even know that lives thousands of miles away from you? You'll never see. You don't care about that person. They're just shit for you to use. Well, that's, yeah, that's that's the way some of them work. Yeah, not all of them. Some of them, some of them all get in there. Some, uh, some uh, of them get in there and well and you know i really got to give props to he's from yeah. wyoming i think it was a congressman from <laughs> wyoming this is several uh, years back he wyoming. he was really excited about you know mm. getting into congress mm. and he was going to speak his oh, mind and uh, he was going to do what was best for the people in his state and yeah. he was in there and within six months he wrote a letter of resignation to the people of uh. the state of wyoming and and apologized he said I did not realize, mm. and I now know that there is not a damn thing that I can mm. do to change this system. 
And, you know, to me, it's like when you get a system that is so entrenched that <laughs> that you cannot change it, yeah. and you like from within, then it's time to throw the system out and start new. Wow. But we can't. There's no way to do that. That's an illusion. Of, a, of all illusions, that's, a, that's the greatest illusion. Well, the best way to, to throw out the system and, and start new is to stop mm. messing with that system and just do your own system. Mm. And just right, be cooperative but, with everybody else doing their own system. You know, and But we're, we're, we're not living in the same world we were born into, Mary. Things are way different now than they were when we were young. And there's no two ways about that. Well, things are way different, but it's the same world we were born into. It's just that maybe we uh -huh. see it more than what uh -huh. we saw when yeah, we were children. Uh, I'm leaning towards that with all this safety and electronics bullshit and the young and the more, uh, what do you call it, civilized parts of the globe as we are taught to understand it uh, have this illusion that they're growing up better because they're smarter and they're faster and they can get things done but I think that there's people that don't know how to do this electronic shit that can grow food and <laughs> take care of livestock and do things that I need done you know raise dairy animals and shit like that yeah well, all this competition has, it's fucked up the, you know, the playing field is kind of fucked up. You're not taught to diversify. You need to know a little bit about this and a little bit about that. Knowing just one thing just doesn't do it. What what good does it do you to know one thing? Mm, and yet, do you really know one thing? I mean... And mm -hmm. here I'm no, getting I'm mean. getting all existential again. But you know, every yeah. time I think Black I up. know something, then <laughs> I find something else out and realize that I don't know shit. <gasps> Mary, I you know potty, you potty mouth girl. Yes, I am. Wow, I'm gonna have to file a grievance with the Dort Commission. Oh yeah, I don't know. I was just starting an argument about something. Oh, a grievance with the Dork Commission. Do we have a Dork Commission? Have we even had the committee to decide how many people need to be on the Dork Commission yet? Well, the problem is is that all the, the people that participate in the Dork experiment all seem to sway to the anarchist state of mind and purpose, which is mind your business and leave me the fuck alone. So we can't seem to organize enough to even get that done. It's horrible. Bunch it of losers. Is. It Bunch is. Bunch of losers. Mary, I'm warning you. <laughs> These people, they can't vote. They can't get their shit together. How do they do a show every week? So disorganized. <laughs> I have no idea how they... Wow. Mm -hmm. I think maybe they just turn on their computer and, and, and start up a couple of programs, and then next thing you know, it's two hours later, uh, and you go, yeah. holy yeah, shit. Yeah. We try to do it at the same time uh, on Saturday, and when you're not available, we, we're, we've we learned to go without dork. <laughs> we are going to go without dork on Saturday, Lord. What are we going to do? Anyway. Uh, go outside. Oh, oh hey. yeah, go outside and slap a chicken. Ooh, just be careful no. of them little cluckers. I ain't careful as shit. I ain't afraid of nothing. Well, maybe some things. Some things more than others. Well, I ain't afraid of nothing, but there's yeah. some things that I'm I'm not real comfortable around. But nothing <sighs> don't nothing don't scare me none. I want well, maybe it's a matter of your definition of fear, Miss Mary. Could that be the key to that doorway? Where it makes people think that they have extra fucking power when all it is is they just don't have the sense to look at a loaded gun and be afraid. Hmm. Well, you know, objects, inanimate objects, can be a little bit on the scary side. And, oh, really? 
Yeah, and driving on the highway can be a little bit on the scary side because, you know, you got to deal with all the other idiots and assholes out there. Although I'm sure oh. there's quite a few of them that, you know, when they're driving behind me are thinking, who is this idiot? <laughs> oh, yeah, everybody does that. I think we all do it. Yeah. That's how, that's how selfish. See, and recognizing that part of yourself is kind of bad. It's like, hey, but the truth is the truth. It's the way we were raised. Yep. Yeah. Well, and, and I can wear my tr- idiot flag and I can wear my asshole flag just yeah, like everybody yeah, else. The, yeah, it's what the dork table's for. But you know, to come to terms with it so late in the lifetime is the weird part to me. You know, there's a lot of people that don't come to terms to, with it. They all just kind of uh-huh. go, no, it's the other guy that's the idiot and the <laughs> asshole. I know what I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> you may know what you're doing, but nobody else knows what you're doing. Therefore, you are the asshole. <laughs> wow. Well, see, again, I'm going to argue a matter of interpretation. Mm-hmm. And and I'm using my experience here in, in Freddy Town as the, the greatest lesson of it all. Because oh, yeah? I don't have I have language to distinguish me here. I got to behave physically in public. Well, yeah. It's yeah, well any foreigner, any guest in your in your bit of dirt is going to get noticed amongst the normal people, whatever normal is. To, yeah, you know. amongst the, the locals, yeah. yes. Locals, yeah. Well, normal, locals, that's all the same bullshit to me. Yeah. Just double, just more bu- double talk, to talk, something to talk about. Achoo. Wow. But it, you know, when you look at your life, it's most of the shit that has our attention and our interest doesn't have any value. We're just taught to to value it with a bunch of bogus crap that doesn't really mean anything. SCOTUS. Oh. Okay. Tessa says she's only got one more thing to say, and then it's back to laundry. Hookers and boats and boats and hookers. Are you going fishing? Ooh. <laughs> well, that's promising. That would be. I'm sure my wife's glad she told me that. I'm sure she is. I hope she was talking to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Tessa, dear. Advice, I know. If she's giving me advice on what to do about, you know, my boring life in Denmark, that ain't going to work. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, Circle would frown on boats and hookers. <laughs> mm, no. Uh-uh. I, I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, you don't think so? Oh, I'm I'm 98% sh- sh- positive Circle would go, hey, no. <laughs> 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 I don't think so. Well, you know, it depends on what you call hookers, because hookers are also those hooks that you hook fish with. Yeah, no, let me tell you something, little missy. It ain't got shit to do with that. <laughs> ah, see, and my oldest daughter, when she was in college, they had some kind of a, a yeah. fishing thing down there. And oh. uh, so okay. she was from McMidas Hall, and uh-huh. uh, on the back, it said McMidas Hall on the front and something or other, the fishing thing. And on the back, it says, I'm a hooker. Are you? And it had a fishing uh-huh. pole and the line coming down and then a fish hook. Uh-huh. And um, the fish hook was the R in hooker. And <laughs> so, you know, that's that's where I went with that. Was that of kind of hooker? Did. Yeah, because I have I have a visual I have a memory of the shirt. Oh yeah, that's what you got. Yeah. Oh, uh. mm-hmm. boy, I like the way you tell a story, little Missy. Yeah, I'm sure you're sitting over there yeah. going, "What?" <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not confused in any way, shape, or form. Ah, uh, good. Nope, you Damn. can't pull the wool over my eyes. You know why? Because you're in Denmark and I'm in Kansas. That's damn right, little Missy. <laughs> You know, because I think like this, if you're conned and lied to through um, words that you read on an internet site, nobody's really getting hurt, sadly. Mm. You know, no victim, no crime, little missy. Ah. Mm. Oh, hey, I'm scr- I'm looking up in the chat, and Tessa said she wants yeah. to join the dork committee. Tell Tessa she can be the dork committee. I ain't joining any damn thing. There you go. Tessa, you can be the dork committee. You are you are what you want to be in the dork world. Yeah. This is 
one place where everybody is exactly the same as the next poor schmo. So, you know, yeah, you want to do all the work, you go right ahead. And work your fingers to the bone, baby. We'll See, be here when you're finished. Yeah, Tessa just reminded me of, of which hooker she meant. <laughs> Wait a minute. How many choices are there? <laughs> well, the ones the ones going fishing. Hi, uh, Frumpy Three. <laughs> the ones going fishing. Oh, this is going to oh, be one of those shows. Oh, she said her, her little brother quit his job because the boss spent the, his extra money on hookers and boats. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that oh, would do it. Oh, that would that would be enough to make me want to go. Well, I'm out of here. See, that's why God, in his infinite wisdom, created the barter system. Ah. Let me tell you people a secret. You don't got to be Jew to use it. You can be not Jew and still be a barterer. It's okay. Ooh. We don't mind. We don't even try to collect a percentage on that particular transaction. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> just We just let you run free like a uh, free slave. Ah. Run that's around. Right. Run around like right. a crazy brain. A dork well, utopia. Know. Yes, Becky, we are in a dork utopia. Dork utopia. Hmm, like a corn utopia of pleasure. Only it's a dork utopia of pleasure. I don't know. What is a dork having a bad time anyway? Hmm. What would we define that? Oh, I know. Listening to somebody tell you how you feel. Oh. That's my oh, I hate that one more than most. I I I feel like a Grammy, but I'm just pinching myself now because you know if if they don't come and pinch me, you know, to see how <laughs> I you feel. You dirty then. girl! I know you, dirty girl. You guys <laughs> do every show. Wow! I know we I have to go have there. The Mary went south part of the <laughs> Dork Table program every week. <laughs> Whether Hank shows up looking for fluke or not, it just doesn't seem to matter. No, it don't. So, no, because we got that hardcore 13 to deal with, baby. <laughs> they, want, they want the real us, no matter how bad it is. Oh, Tessa says she's a barterer. Ooh, hey. Oh, hey. Hey, that's yeah. a good barter, Tessa. Sweet. Wow. Off grid. Yeah. Working well, on that one. Yeah. Hey, oh. Tessa's running for dork president. And her hey, pro her dorkular Tessa's POTUS dork. pre POTUS promises to be a dork. Booyah! Oh. Finally. Right, there you go. Honesty. Oh, wonderful. Now, when you tell me what to do, I got bad news for you, though. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, it's all part of being a dork. Is You can talk and you can expect, but oh, well. <laughs> Mm. I was wrong once. <laughs> it's memorable. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, yeah. Who knew? Obviously, you didn't, and there, and then you found out later that oh. it was like, oh, I've oh. been found out. Oh no. Yeah. Well, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. But when people tell me what to do. I usually do less than um, I normally would do if they would just leave me alone. Ooh, oh, hey, and, you know, there's more girls than boys dorking today. <laughs> I, I'm not allowed to notice that. Thanks for the update. <laughs> I got accused of going south, and wow, my mind just went there. <laughs> <laughs> well, where, what other direction was there besides south? <laughs> with my mind? Oh, God only knows. Whoa, it, with your mind, without your mind, who is to know? Whoa. Oh, hmm. you bartered it down on a piece of land for you. Oh, hey, there you go. Sweet. See, there you, that's, that's using your noodle and getting rid of a car. If, if you, you know, if you can live without one, which most people cannot seem to do. I understand I've been in plenty of places where I needed a car. And there was times when I lived in a place and needed a car, didn't have one. But I, you know. Oh, Tessa said I, she's going to do a funny walk, too. Sweet. I love funny walks. Oh, remember we were trying to remember that was the... Uh, the Monty Python? Yeah, or, Monty Python. It was the... Uh, I still can't remember it. And I've seen it since, and I can't... 
I've got such a bad memory. I think I'm going to blame the internet for my bad memory. It's the uh, um, mm, not no, it's the not, no not bureau of funny walks, but gosh darn it! I know I can't remember. Yeah, because there's a there's a where's that at? I don't remember if it was in like Sweden or Norway or one of one of those places that you know you don't huh. hear a whole hell of a lot out of and then when you do it's muslims but um oh yeah, yeah. Muslim. Mm. in any case they they have a a street in this town that the sign you know at the crosswalk is oh. the funny walk sign and yeah yeah i think it's in norway because the the government said that they were going to have to remove that sign and the mayor is not wanting to remove the sign and it's like uh. booyah don't yeah. remove it. Tell him to kiss your ass. Because that, you know, the video that I watched of it, people were doing some really wild, funny walks. And it is hilarious just to watch them. I want to go oh, there. I want to talk to Tessa for a second here. Okay. Uh, I know she's listening to the show, but she's talking about something I've got experience with. Okay. And when I needed materials as an artist, I was poor at times when I'd first move into a place and decide I want to start making art. And I would find, for example, if I was going to etch glass, I'd find a glass shop that was going to throw their shards, you know, their smaller pieces away, and I'd ask them to trade me for them. So whatever I needed, I'd go to that particular kind of store and tell them, I don't have any money, but maybe we can do some other kind of business. And it worked very well. Yeah. So, yeah. The one-on-one -on -one thing. I mean, because if the cops are dicks, that if the cops know that the people that have the store are doing business with you, then you got nothing. To, then they're supposed to know you're there. Then it's all of a sudden important for that. Yeah. Because that you know the people don't want the cops embarrassing them by arresting a client. It looks like you're an incomplete, you know, incompetent boob when you live like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, in my opinion. Tessa's going to be a politician, and she's going to run for mayor of the closest mm -hmm. town because, you know, ah. she's kind of like Booneyville, only different different Booneyville, and different. make a make a walk or a street where when you walk down it, you have to walk funny or you get a ticket, which ticket to yeah. what? Is it a ticket to the fun house to teach you how yeah. to teach you how to be fun, how to have fun, damn it all? Hmm. That would be cool. I don't know. You know what would really be cool? What's that? What's on my mind? I'd like to see the, um, the President of the United States eat a, a hash-laced brownie and get high on TV and tell us all the truth. Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? I, I, I wonder if that two-faced piece of shit could actually tell these stories that he tells if he was loaded and couldn't, you know. Could he be put in, that, in a mental state where he couldn't even lie to us? And what would he say if he did? Ooh. Ah. Mm. Well, you ever wonder? I mean, come on, everything we're told is bullshit. You can tell that from the results. Oh, yeah. They tell you they vote on laws. They don't even read this shit. And if they did read it, they'd spend their entire career reading it. Well, that's that why they have. That's why they have people. I have oh, people that okay. read that, and then yeah. they give me a synopsis of it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> really? All righty. Hey, yeah, we write these thousand-page. Uh, should I ask my wife if I can get a synopsis? Will she get mad at me? I don't think she will. <laughs> I don't Never think so. Mind. I but, you know, they write yeah, these wonderful thousand-page-long yeah. um, pieces of legislation, and then they make everybody else read it and give them the, the shorter, edited Reader's Digest version of it. And that version always leaves out the juicy bits. Have you ever noticed that? Well, I don't know. Define juicy bits. You know, the, the parts that really do something. You know, they always, cause they, they, uh -huh. they leave the whereases and therefores and the confusing shit, but the parts that really do stuff, they leave those juicy bits out. Juicy bits really do stuff, huh? Hmm. Yes, they do. Wow. You know what's just happened live on the dork table? What's that? You finally proved gravity exists. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I have to thank you, Miss Mary. You're welcome. Because whatever the hell that was all about went right over me. Um, I'm just a big dummy dumbhead, I suppose. Ooh. I'm sad. I'm a sad little dork. Well, I'm. You know what's going on is I'm been reading the freaking chat like an idiot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not like you. I can't read the chat and ignore you and get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> like you do to me. No. I, if I try, I just tried that. It didn't work. I went. Oh man. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, Tessa's gonna be Pennywise. Sweet. Pennywise. An okay. evil clown. Pennywise. Wouldn't it be nice if? We didn't have to do that. Yeah. Mm. That's what I think. Pennywise dollar foolish. There you go. Mm. I know lots of people uh, like that. Oh, I Yeah, I know a girl with a triangle is worth a fortune. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking woman makes more money not producing anything than anybody that does produce shit makes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, and she turns all of it, all of her physical labor into exercise, and claims to actually enjoy it. So, uh, win win, winner yeah. winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know, yeah, and these fucking lawyers call that the oldest trade. That's not true. Nah, that's not true. You know what the oldest trade is? What's that? Called fuck your neighbor out of his shit. But ah. it was such a long name, they had to cut it down, and they called it law instead. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what it is, it's a perfectly designed way so that you and your neighbor never get along and always want the other guy to be on the bottom. See, and I think it's it's like that thing that I read mm -hmm. last night, which I need to print some of those up and <laughs> put them all over town. Um, uh -oh. Here we you know, the service mm -hmm. department how may I be of service? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was my brother David was giving me static about that after uh -huh. um, after the show, and it's like, oh Lord, that's just so wrong, just so wrong. But it's still funny. But it was wrong. Funny and wrong. What yeah. a pair. <laughs> I know that's the best kind of funny is the funny aren't and they, wrong. <laughs> aren't they just wonderful? They're and they're wonderful together. Yes, they are. Funny and wrong go hand in hand like oil and water, you know? Yeah, they do. Like, like watch this, hold my beer, and, you know? Like, yeah. I've done this. I, my favorite one of it all. What's that? I've done this. Um, the, the guy that tells you, I've done it a million times. Oh, yeah. You know how many times he's ever done it? <laughs> it ends in a zero, but there's no one in the front. <laughs> Poor delusional bastard. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, I'm saying, well, I have my opinions, Miss Mary. I'm entitled to have them. You know why? Why is that? It's my constitutional right. That's why. Because the government said I could. Therefore, I can. Oh. What kind of idiot are you, Eve? Can you imagine living like that? In, that you really, I mean, to the core of your body, that you believe that the government is allowing you to do things. I think they're selling me crap, and I think they're using me, but I don't think that um, I don't think they're allowing me to do anything. They're serving <laughs> you and serving. Well, they sure you. turned that shit around in a few years, now, didn't they, little Missy? <laughs> they're serving me. Yeah, yeah, like in McDonald's, they're serving me all right. I feel like a quarter pounder with cheese. Ew, ew. I know a joke about quarter pounders with cheese, and that's ew. <laughs> it's all, anything with cheese is a joke. Ah. Yeah. yeah, well, you know, what do you call an anorexic with yeast infection? A quarter pounder uh, with cheese. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I personally, I don't associate with that particular brand of human. Oh, I'm I must be working through the off brands right now, because yeah, the more special somebody is, the less I care to deal with them. Well, mm, see, and I, I like say, special people. They're special. Oh, mm. Spatial. Yes, they're spatial. Spatial. They got things growing out of their stuff, huh, Miss Mary? 
They're uh, space. They're spatial. Oh, hey, <laughs> Estrella just shared the Carpenters <laughs> top of the world. Hey, Estrella. Over there on that effing site. I like the Carpenters. Happy I actually got to see uh, them in concert, too, a long, 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 long time ago. See what a happy little dorkette you are. I know. I know. You're, you're so dorky, you squeak. <laughs> Only if you squeeze me in the right places. <laughs> oh. Hey, speaking of squeezing you right in the right places, I wonder what my buddy Hank's doing. I don't, mm, I don't want to know. Well, he's usually prowling around about this time looking for some strange. <laughs> you know? Ew. And really, all the guy's got to do is just take his glasses off, but don't nobody tells him that part. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's a wealthy fucker. What are you gonna add? What do you tell Hank? <laughs> yes, sir, Hank. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Mm. I I prefer to just walk away. Walk away. Mm. Yeah, you say that because Hank's never come into your house and told you to do something. Yeah, well, you know th- that's because I've don't I would not let Hank in my house. I would not let. Doesn't mean he wouldn't come in, but I would not let. Uh, yeah, well, what's what's that got to do with it, Let Please. He's yeah. Hank. You, oh, couldn't, I know. you couldn't turn Hank down. Ugh. It would no. be a sin. It would it would be a sin of sins to turn old Hanky down, I yep. think. Mm. Ooh, yeah, Becky. Calling <laughs> occupants. That's Carpenters redid that. That <laughs> was that was originally Clatu that did that. Clatu? Because I have that. Hmm. See, when you're old, you can say and do things that scare the shit out of everybody else. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know why? Why? Oh, no. I thought you'd know because you're oh. the one doing it. Well, you know. Oh. <laughs> See, I can't wait till I get a little bit older, like when my grandchildren are in their teens. <laughs> and then mm. we're sitting there at Thanksgiving dinner. And yeah. I start telling them all kind of things about, you know, sex life, whether it's real or made up. And everybody around the table goes, oh, Grammy, shut up. <laughs> oh. and, and I get to have the turkey to myself. <laughs> oh, you dirty girl. Wow. You actually have an evil plan to hijack a turkey on a holiday? Yes, I do. <laughs> My God. You, you're positively evil. <laughs> Ah, who saw this coming? I tell you what, my grandkids, uh, not this last time I was out there, time before, we were at the park and I was keeping them entertained while mom and dad were doing, they they teach a, an in the park exercise thing mm. in the evenings. And, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is kind of cool. So the kids yeah. and I were, Small they community. were keeping me entertained, yeah. I was keeping them entertained, whatever. They were climbing trees, I was going, don't fall, um, I can't catch you. But um, then we sat around and we're telling jokes. And I'm telling, you know, the lame little, how do you catch a unique rabbit? That kind of stuff. Oh, thinking, you up you know, on them. And I, I got giggles out of them. And then they started telling me jokes. And it's like, oh, my Lord, yeah. you're how old? Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't know those jokes until I was how Oh, uh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was that uncomfortable giggle. You know, the, the whole Grammy that's going, oh. Not well, sure yeah, I'm liking this. We we weren't deprived of our childhood for the state of the stake of the state, so we didn't run around insulting grown ups with our rude behavior. Oh. Like these little people. Well, can you imagine a four year old calling some faggot a faggot? Oh. Uh, be fu- I mean, you talk about problems, so they gotta teach the preschoolers what a faggot is. So when they're out in the world, they don't call a faggot a faggot and hurt his feelings and and get their parents in trouble. Mm, Yeah. Yeah. I had to reason all this here confusion out, Miss Mary, and come up to a decision that I could live with. I'm not coming to a decision you can live with. (laughs) Oh, oh. (laughs) Yeah, I don't really give a shit how other people judge the world. That's their business. I judge the world in my own special, magical way. Well, there you go. It's all my very own. It's and a bit darkular. To, well, my prejudice is pretty much just in one area. You know? 
Oh, so you're prejudiced against stupidity? No, I feed off of stupidity like a hungry wolf on a cow carcass. No, stupidity. Nah, I, I, I love it when people are stupid. Because yeah, that reminds me of what I may or may not be. Ah. In the preview of my boudoir. Hmm. Ah. It's all a matter of how I want to interpret it. Period. Whatever it is. Hmm. See? Yeah. <gasps> Amy, 95521 is here. Hi, Amy. How are hey, you? We got, wait, maybe maybe she's lost and was looking for Facebook or something and accidentally got here. <laughs> or, or maybe she just decided to, hey, let's check this out. Because I, right, I tend to do cool. that and then I push buttons yeah. and then people go, shit, she's pushing buttons again. Yeah, but every now and again we do come up with a topic that is rather exciting yes. and different. Yes, but not often. Not <laughs> often. often. Not often. But, so, but the rest of the jibber jabber when we're making jokes. Yeah. When I listen to that stuff, you know what I do? What's that? I giggle. <laughs> ah, well, like see. a little goyle, Mary. I'm telling you, it's it's <laughs> like wait. I hear stuff that you say different later on when you know when there's more attention uh, to be made and paid, uh-huh. and I can yeah then well it changes the dynamics of the show because I'm not in the show I'm listening to the show ah and you know what outside of declaring that boobs are the most important thing in the world in the known world at this past present or any future time in man his man's history. <clears throat> I found that I'm not the only one that believes that. Oh, hey. Hey. Uh, oh. Yay! Amy is Becky's daughter. Yay! Hey, Becky's daughter Amy. Now I get it. I was wondering. I thought maybe somebody was looking for Facebook and they went, hey, what's this? And they go, oh, Lord. Sometimes people go, cru- you know, they go country cruising, only they do it on the interwebs, and they go cyber cruising. And, you oh. know, it's amazing what you find when you go country cruising, and then when you go cyber cruising, you can find all kind of shit. All kind of shit, well. Yeah. I've never really been out looking to find shit. Oh, let me tell you, you know, other people's stuff is shit, but your stuff is stuff. And so when I go out... And I go country cruising, then I find cruising. other people's shit that once I snag it, then it becomes uh. my stuff. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're just positively evil. <laughs> ah, it's all clear to me now. I understand. Yeah. Well. I will no longer be confused. I'm aware. <laughs> I've been awakened. I'm enlightened. What is those other idiots called? I'm uh, blue something. What is it? Uh, huh? Uh, those people that think they're so special because they call themselves blue something. Uh, blue. Mm, the the enlightened ones. Uh, blue something. Maybe it's uh, the mm. indigo. That's it. Oh yeah. See, indigo is is a fancy word for blue. Is it, yeah, but say, that's what I'm talking about. An education will make a person think things about themselves that is absolutely not true. I'm a rainbow child, or maybe yeah, a but, Neapolitan child, because I, I am multicolored. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret little here, Miss Mary? What? The only person that cares what you are is you. <laughs> Did you know that? Wow. Yeah. I've spoken. <laughs> you know, why? You know I'm going to tell you why I think that. Why do you think that? Because I do it all the time, and I think everybody else is exactly like me. <laughs> oh, oh, See? yeah. And I, I also believe that's the way we are. We have a, a self-image that we think other people live up to or don't live up to. And most of the time, it's just a bunch of crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I found out long time ago that not everybody thinks the way I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and like That's... balance, it's it's a necessity in life. If you don't have it, believe me, you're gonna know. Yeah. 
Yeah. But, well, you know, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe some people are unbalanced, but they're the ones that don't know. Mm. Oh, I know a lot of people who claim to be of superior mind and body, intellect, breeding, all this kind of horse shit, because they were born on a special bit of dirt and their skin is a certain color. Wow. Yeah. You know what I call these people? What do you call them? I got a. Oh, are you sitting down? You might want to write this down for the future. Okay. I call them idiots. <gasps> wow. So those are the people that. Oh. Oh. Okay. They can't help themselves. They're, they were born into that trap. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's a sad. It's a sad thing, Miss Mary. So, who are the assholes in? Because you all, know, all of us. Oh, okay. Okay. Everybody, so that's... if you're breathing, if you can talk, if you can think, if you've managed to survive the game that you're playing, there you go. You're a dummy for playing it, just like I was. Hmm. Okay. That's my. Wait a minute. That's my opinion. Because, okay. I'm just. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I know. I'm, I'm cogitating. I'm cogitating uh -oh. here because I was hey, talking about idiots and assholes on the road. So now I know who the idiots are, and I also know who the <laughs> asshole is. <laughs> you, you need a, a towel for that cogitating thing that you're doing. <laughs> um, I hope it doesn't hurt. No. Well, not hmm. much. But I, okay, thankfully, good. I have headphones on, so it's keeping the smoke in. So. <laughs> Wow, uh, just as I exhale, she says that. <laughs> so, hey, did you know that I have a for real life other than the interwebs? You do? A for real one? Yeah. For honest and for true? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and did you know that there, there's live people who participate in this <gasps> life that I have outside of the interweb? Live? Wow. Yeah, so have in, you actually like touched them and they're not room temperature? No. Oh. <laughs> so how do you know that they're live if you haven't touched them to find out that they're not room temperature? Skype. Oh, okay. <laughs> Later, Becky, I am. Have a uh, wondrous day. They must have shopping to do. They got girl or, things. Well, or it's it is September, and you know the weather is going to shift soon for a lot of folk. Yes. And I can understand wanting to get out on a Saturday and doing something besides listening to me and you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But on the other hand, if I was in the house and didn't have no particular plans, sometimes listening to me and you is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Did they really go there? Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. You know, some people actually have to have have it uh, uh, legal for them to do the very things I take for granted every day. Well, yeah. Shall you know. I give you an example of what I speak? Or are you going to just assume shit? Oh, I assume shit <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I was being funny. Anyway, what I was leaning to is, you know what? The more I look at this Bill of Rights thing and the uh -huh. Constitution, the more of a scam that I see it as. And the, the very things that we're taught, raised, and these are principles and all this crap is just a bunch of bullshit. Well, I don't know that it's all bullshit because I think cows do too. They just don't brag about it. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm just saying, as, as the older I get, the more uh, experience I have with what I live in, the more of a fantasy that this life shows itself to be. That and in the not that it's not real, but that we're we're based on bullshit. If we were, if the truth was accessible to us and we could use it, we wouldn't have anything to complain about. Life would be perfect. But we have all these con men and liars convincing us that we need things we don't need. And this is the results of that kind of life. There ah. you go. 
that's the way I figured it. Anyway, mm -hmm. I might be wrong. You don't know. Those educated fellas out there got better ideas. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what they say. Shut up. Yeah. They tell me all the time, shut up and sit down, hippie. You don't know what you're talking about. And uh, that's when you just go, uh, okay, whatever mm -hmm. you say. And then, you know, that's... Oh. That's my, you know, my cue to go, yes, dear. And then well, do whatever I was doing anyway. Tessa made a comment about, uh, oh, I was teasing about being a sad little dork, as I often do on uh -huh. the show. And she took it to heart. And, oh, little sad, no sad little dorks at the dork table. And I, I just wanted to let her know, nah, that's just, it's just a joke. I, I'm not very, uh, very funny. Just a little funny. Because... <laughs> My jokes sometimes slide right underneath people. They don't, they take it um, for face value instead of, wait a minute, is that monkey joking or not? Hmm. You're a funny fucker. <laughs> but if I was to listen to me, I would know which side of the coin I was on. Am I joking or am I serious? Who is to know? Hmm. I think you're Cheerios. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that could be. Or maybe or, checks. Or not to be. That is apparently the question. <laughs> doobie, doobie, do. <laughs> oh, shit. Doobie. I thought it was doobie, not duvet. Doobie. Doobie. Duvet. Doobie. 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 Got a uh, doobie, what? dude. <laughs> I never really hung out with people that called it doobie in the first place. I don't know. Yeah, I... I'm... I've heard of it, but I never, I've never had anybody go, "Hey, you want some of this doobie?" The, uh, what? You know what? The worst habit I have of calling it at all is what? Marijuana. Ooh, ye I detest calling it marijuana, uh, but I'm a good little sheep. So you see, and I prefer call it marijuana. See, but it, it's not. That's a bastardized name of cannabis because they wanted it to sound Mexican. Yeah. So they scare the white people into not using it because it made the Mexicans want to work all day and have intercourse all night. Without ah. Me. Yeah, but not with you, <laughs> with somebody else, oh. which is the whole point. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And did you I know that whether it's marijuana or hemp, it's all still cannabis? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but no, I knowing what I know about it and knowing what say Hans knows about it are two different planets. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know the stupidest thing about all this dope and all these different kinds of drugs and all this storytelling they do is they go, well, pot is a gateway drug to this, and, and I'll tell you this: no, it ain't. No. Most of the people that smoked pot with me, that was their limit. Mm. They didn't want it. They didn't want to know anything. But, oh, I'm smoking pot. That's good. I'm good. No, not. Hey, what else you got? What else you got is like one in a hundred. And the guy that says what else is what else you got? He doesn't. He doesn't care if it's pot or window cleaner. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he'd try any of this, try some of that shit that looks like it might get me off. Well, that's got nothing to do with pot. Yeah. But they sold it to the public under false pretenses because, you know, if you've ever been around other human beings and one idiot wanted to do something physically that was uh, threatening or insane very few people ever went along with that monkey they shun him no don't hang out with jerry man he wants to go swing off the chandelier and shit on people Ew. so you know well what i'm saying whatever bizarre whack doodle shit you know you're not you're not talking about well smoking dope has been compared to all this horrible shit and it makes you so mundane and boring it's not believable yeah. people that are high just bore the fuck out of me because they're in their own little world and they don't know I'm there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of hard to interact with them. That's the why when I smoke on the show it's like you just read text and you don't care what I think or say. <laughs> 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 and the reason I smoke 
the cannabis is so that I don't commit suicide over being rejected on the radio oh. program. <laughs> See? And see, I'm looking at this lovely little image that Cowboy just shared of some of that there sure. cannabis. It's very, very pretty. That's very pretty. And it's got sparklies <laughs> on it and everything. Grim says, Grim says I'm on a coin. It must be some terrible joke. He must be mad at me again. No. Oh, he's, I didn't mean he's, it. <laughs> he said it was the flip of a coin. So he said flash on a coin. Oh, yeah. It's counterfeit. It's okay, Grim. Yeah, what I kind of I, I enjoy about life is that I truly believe life is whatever we want life to be at any time. Yeah. You can pick and choose. You can decide anything. You can be anybody in the damn world you want to be. Yeah. All you got to do is decide to do it. But that doesn't mean that the rest of the world's going to recognize your shit. <laughs> you know uh, what I mean? Uh-huh. Because oh. we all got these perverted sense of self-image that doesn't translate to others. Nobody sees you like you see you. Can you imagine if Cirque saw me the way I see me? I don't think she would have married me. She sees me in the way she sees me, which is different than that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, me, yeah. I get a good wife out of it. Yeah. Well, hey, you know that image that Cowboy shared? He said it's just some weeds on a small farm. <laughs> <laughs> just some weeds. How cool. <laughs> just some weeds. Get over it. Well, right. But that's what I mean about the society crap and all these. The bigger the group you're in, the more this shit matters, you know? Yeah. Well, see, and I see that, and I think I got to thinking, you know, it's just some weeds. What's the big deal about it? It's just some weeds. Well, but what. Well, for me to be sitting here um, smoking a pipe load when Cirque comes home from work is a normal behavior. Yeah. It's not like, what? What are you doing? There's no shock or, oh, my God, you've lost your mind. No, it's smoking a pipe load before dinner. What's That's cool. Yeah, but, now, you know, it's like that whole reverse psychology thing. You know, nobody really thought much of it. It was just a weed. You know, some people did this with it. Some people did that with it. And then the government came in and said, it's a bad weed, and we must put it on this list over here. And all of a sudden, everybody's talking about it and going, yeah. ooh, it's evil, or no, it's just a weed, or ooh, it's evil. No, it's just... And so you got this whole tug-of-war thing going on, and it's all because some fictitious entity, entity stepped in and said, it's bad, it's evil, it's the devil's mm -hmm. lettuce. Uh, right, but what in the, the scope of politics and all that shit that we see and we think is all huge is real? I mean, it's just stories that you hear. You, there's no physical proof to anything. I mean, we're, we're not allowed to witness these things happen. <clears throat> we're just told later after the fact that they happened. <clears throat> well, you know, unless it's... Well, okay, once again, this unless is things that I saw things that I saw mm -hmm. on the interwebs, which must be true, ah, but, interwebs. you know, okay. raiding I'm farms because they're growing parsley or whatever the hell kind of vegetable <laughs> or garnish or whatever. And Well, right. we thought it was marijuana. Oops, yeah. oh, you God. just lost your whole crop. Don't make a yeah. shit and bit of difference if that was how many thousands of dollars because you were selling it to high-end restaurants and shit. Well, oops, are bad. You shouldn't have grown something that looked like that demon weed to us. <laughs> and and there's lots of people that'll just justify and support that bent logic. Yeah. And that bent logic is so bent that it it's not even amusing anymore. Yeah, it is kind of crazy, ain't it? No, it's not kind of crazy. It's totally insane. All right. When I was a child, I remember growing up, nine, ten years old. The cops were there, and the, the cops were uh, relatively pleasant to be around. If you went to Winchell's and there was a cop car there, the cop was nice to everybody. Yeah. And as I got older, I noticed a metamorphosis, if you will. Yes. You know what that is? It's it was that metamorphosis from peacekeeper to police officer to law enforcement officer. Yeah, and I got to watch the whole process through my whole life, right? Mm -hmm. 
So it's safe to say people older than me saw the, what, what I missed before that. And the people younger than me, they grew up, and this is their normal. Yeah. Wow. And, Holy you know, it's gosh. like my grandpa, you know, always had the greatest respect for the police officers and stuff. And <laughs> But he grew up in an era when they were Andy Griffith. You know, yeah. they were they were peacekeepers. They only showed up if you huh. called them because there was a problem. Yeah. You know, that's the only time they showed up. And odds are they didn't pull any weapons or anything like that. And they <laughs> everybody yeah. got their knobs gobbed and they got told, oh, come on now. Get along. Damn yeah. it. Don't yeah. make me lock one of you guys up. Yeah. And then yeah. they became um, police yeah. officers where they were wandering around patrolling the area looking for messes to police. Yeah, to clean things up, to prevent crime. Yes, and now they're what? law enforcement officers because of the cha-ching involved in it where they are enforcing these things are for your own good, but they're so good, they are so much oh. for your own good that they have to force them on you and they have to have these armed thugs show up to f make sure <laughs> that you get that this is being forced on you because, well, you just don't know any better. Wow, it doesn't sound like you're convinced. Uh, doesn't? Oh, man. I'm no. going to have to work on you that. Don't, you don't sound like a true believer. <laughs> you did once. I remember when you had faith in the system. Uh, yeah, back well, in the yeah. beginning. Yeah. You were losing it then, but you were still hopeful because you, you don't like to you know, quit. I know that. Yeah. But once you realized where you could explain it to other people, <laughs> boy, there was no stopping you. <laughs> Well, I don't want to be under your wheels when you hit the fucking brakes. Ooh. Yeah, yep. that would be a smear. Squash. <laughs> they'd name a they'd name a squash after me. Ooh, they would. A flasher squash. Flash squash. <laughs> yep. It not that related to Sasquatch. Look like a burnt waffle with hair on it. <laughs> <laughs> Waiter. <laughs> uh, waiter, there's a waffle in my hair. <laughs> ah, it's all part of a devious plan. So yes, it is. Hey, which part of this plan do you like the best at so far? The financial, the educational, or the social? Because they're three separate things. Yes, they are. But we're taught they're all one. Is there, there's not a none of the above option? No, there's no opt out in this game. If, you, if you're if you speaking or if you hear other people talking, you're in the fucking game. Mm. Okay, I'll go, I'll go with the social part because I could really do without the whole financial or any whatever. What was the other yeah. one? Yeah, <laughs> social, financial, and, and the religion. And all the, just the, oh. the society that we've got that we're in the middle of is it's all bullshit well yeah it's, it's all based on bullshit it's, a, it's it's executed in bullshit and when you call it bullshit people get mad at you and bring you back into the fold well you know anytime they have to come up with a phrase societal norms what 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 a societal uh -huh. norm really? so you got this guy sitting at the end of the bar <laughs> norm norm Norm. And he's a societal norm. I, yeah. We don't, how come we, we've got a, a Cliff Clavin, but we don't have a norm. Wow. No, we don't. We this need is, to, someone needs to step up. Damn it. Hey, yeah. Who, who would make a good norm? Mm, uh, I hmm. don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Well, it would probably be Vince because he's the only one that can decipher the shit that comes out of hands. Oh. Like, Norm can always uh, know what uh, Cliff is going to say before he says it. Yeah, or sometimes feed stuff to Norm just to see what <laughs> Norm will say. <laughs> yeah, to get that wackadoodle boy to talk. Yeah, and then everybody else oh, just yeah. kind of goes, I? Hey, I would Alan say says he'll be Norm. <laughs> <laughs> You need to gain a few pounds there, sport. You're not quite big enough to be Norm. <laughs> I think you're tall enough, but you're not wide enough. We need somebody tall and wide, not just tall. Well, that's not Vinny then, because Vinny's not wide either. 
Well, I was using Vinny's mouth as a reference. For oh! Me. <laughs> Even Alan's quieter than Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right, Vincenzo. Ah, <laughs> have fun at the dork table at the expense of my good buddy. Oh, you know what I asked Vince if he wants to do? What's that? Another project on the radio with me. <gasps> Sweet! <laughs> but this time where we and me and him actually talk. Oh. Yeah. So you actually think you're going to get a word in edgewise? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing about the whole uh, extravaganza is that I'll be the one that is right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he'll be left. What more do you need? Hey, I was right. That <laughs> is what matters. Well, I think I think Vinny is a lefty too, isn't he? Is he a South Pole? Oh, he's a lefty, all right. <laughs> he's fucking stump. Wow. I'm telling you. Ah, Vinny, ah. Was that yeah. Vinny on last night on the balls to the wall? I haven't heard it yet. Was he? Uh, I slept in today and missed everybody. Ah. Uh, um, yeah, I was, do that I was having a bit of a soak in the tub, and I had it going in the background, and I heard another voice, and I thought, that's not grim. Because I was oh. just, I was kind of soaking away and listening to the tunage, and then listening uh, to the talking, and then all of a sudden it's, hey, that's not grim. Soaking away. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds fun, Miss Mary. It was. Oh. Epsom let salt call, and essential oils, and I was soaking yeah, me, away the week. Let me call Hank. Hank would love to talk to you about this. Ew! No, mm. I don't want Hank invading my tub. Well, Bullwinkle Ew. will talk about it too, but his answers are weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And he's always trying to impress the girls with his big antlers and shit. It's quite ridiculous. Like, and redunculous too. And his big antlers. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Well, you know what I, they say about big antlers, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, no they're brain. big. <laughs> no, no brain. Oh. Uh, yeah, big antlers, no brain. That's, ah. that's just the way it is. I ah. didn't write this book. No. It was here when I showed up at this party. Ah, okay. That's right. You okay. know what I've never been invited to? What's that? A book burning. Really? Yeah, How rude. I, not one time in my life have I ever been invited to a book burning. And Man. I'm starting to, Yeah, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling it. You you're you're feeling avoided and and no one sent you a memo, huh? Man. Nothing. Not even nah, not even a nothing. I was completely left out. Oh lord. That what is just rude. Oh, cow cowboy it. says what you call someone with big antlers is horny. Oh, Moose will be happy to hear that. <laughs> well, there's so many other directions that could be taken in. So, yeah, I'm glad somebody bailed me out of that. Could have ended worse. Ah. Well, yeah, it could have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it could have yeah. been something I came up with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, between being married and normal, sex can be really uh, predictable. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Just making a joke. Wow. You know, I didn't think you heard the normal part. <laughs> okay. You finally, it was like a delayed reaction. Well, sometimes when you're reading, the, the shit I say still gets penetrates the reading shit. <laughs> And then I see your face when you finally go, oh, he did say that. <laughs> <laughs> I try to time it with your coffees, your coffee uh, chugs, but. Yeah, I, I know. Don't. You're trying to get me to do spewage. I see how you are. I'm a difficult little hobbit, I'm telling you, Miss Mary. <laughs> uh. Hobbit. I thought, I thought Circles called you her little garden gnome. Ogre. No, Ogre. Oh. Ogre. Oh. I get called all kinds of sweet little names. <laughs> I swear, it's like I'm like the um, the example for the world to judge by. Oh, it's, yeah. There's a lot of people, ha and the the opinions of me are so varied. I'm like 
I've like I've got multiple personality or something. You know? Well, you do. I'm 27 different people. Well, yeah. I do? Oh, cool. I didn't know. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for telling me. Yeah. Yeah, because you're like a troll and an ogre yeah. and a nor yeah. and a, a, yeah. a huh? gnome and a yeah, because uh. your brother's Norm. You're just a gnome. Oh yeah, he wants to take up the norm. Hey, he just wants to take that up so he can be close to Hansel. Ah. Uh. You know they can go to Starbucks and ignore hookers together sometime. Oh, so right. it, so they're like no. friends, huh? Whoa! <laughs> boats and hookers, and hookers and boats. Gives a, <laughs> gives a whole new definition of friend. I don't think my wife would really let me, you know, like get away with that kind of crap if I was up to doing it. Mm. So I'm going to plea the fifth and shut the fuck up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you dirty girl, you always take take it to sex. Every I time. Di- oh, I'm not the one that was talking about penetrating. <laughs> Did I use the term penetrating? Yes, oh. you actually used the word penetrating. The hell was I saying that? <laughs> What, what the fuck is wrong with me? I well, actually, you said penetration, but it's still, oh, it's just, okay. uh, my mind went, what? Well, I'm obviously losing my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to end well. <laughs> <laughs> what? Slightly used mind. <laughs> For free. Oh, no. Oh, you get a good price from me. <laughs> both, both dead and alive. <laughs> yeah, oh, there, there's parts. There's parts of my body they're going to be um, analyzing for years after I'm dead. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's okay. <laughs> You'll keep somebody busy. <laughs> Please put me in a hole. Put me in a hole and plant a tree. Uh, oh, there no. you go. I don't want none of those wackadoodle scientific weirdos getting their mitts on my beauty no (laughs) it's not going to be any scientific work well i know i've already told my children i'm leaving my body to science fiction because that's the only thing it's going to be good for by the time i'm done with it isomob's going to write a book about how you survived (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) your special your special diet of oils and special vegetables (laughs) (laughs) it's a good thing you didn't throw in the special sauce (laughs) Uh, see, feeling saucy. I, apparently, <laughs> wow. What is my my poor wife? No wonder she. <laughs> uh, the dogs barking. You're going insane. The world is a ghetto. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. What uh, do I know? But I tell you what, what, ghettos usually have some really interesting artwork. Have you ever noticed that? Well, yeah. You know why? Why? Because poor people don't have much to do except destroy shit. And in a way, that's what art truly is, is marring the fucking surface of another surface with another thing. Ah, oh, there you go. Hey, sock puppet. Analyzing. Analyze. Analyze. Very, hmm? very technical shit, lady. I'm telling you. It is? Wow. Ah. You didn't know? What, you thought I'd just make this stuff up on the show while I'm talking? Yeah. No, this is many, many minutes of research on the internet. (laughs) I know I Googled it at least once. (laughs) Well, if Google found it for you, it must be true. (laughs) Google found it for me. Jeez. Well, I guess there's a 50-50 chance. You know, you know you're being fucking lied to about something. Your fun is to figure out which part it is. Yeah, I like being Googled. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> and, well, that that one likes the Google. <laughs> like, really? That's why Hank keeps coming. <laughs> goes, yeah, oh. well, yeah, coming or going, difference is color. So... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss um, Oh, what? God! Oh, you, uh, man! You say, say good night to all the fine people of the RL and M, and uh, just remind them I need the fucking room soon. You're holding me up. 
<laughs> Progress must be made. <laughs> We're breathing Pro all of Hank's good grass. air, and he's not liking it. He ain't digging it. <laughs> well, I'll he tell you what. How dig you dance? <laughs> I'll give it back to him. I'll blow some <laughs> intestinal <laughs> kisses at him. <laughs> oh. Beans and sauerkraut for everyone. <laughs> that's where I want to go. <laughs> to the Beans oh. and Sauerkraut Festival that's happening in Mary's mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tessa, that's, you know, actually, I have looked into doing that whole doing the, the urn and then doing the tree. I think that would be cool. I don't want a gravestone. I don't want any of that other fun shit. But yeah, if you want to put my ashes in an urn and then put a tree in there and go plant it somewhere and yeah. Or you yeah. could just throw me on the top of a funeral pyre and, and uh, let my ashes go in the breeze so I can, instead oh, of no. saying, kiss my ass, I can say, breathe my ash. <laughs> I, I got to admit, it, it sounds like something you would do tonight if you had a chance. <laughs> dirty oh, well. Girl. I know. Boy, Y'all <laughs> guys... We are, yeah, we are out of time. So thanks, everybody, for listening in today to the Dorkulars being Dorkular here on the RLM. And um, I don't think there's anything else going on live today other than maybe JJ's Uh popping in Uh for a while. So have fun the rest of your day. And tomorrow, remember, Grimmy, noon, Eastern time with the blues leading you into happiness.